This is an alpha, beta, gamma simulation detector. It can detect alpha radiation, beta radiation, and gamma radiation. And I thought I would describe how I built this in this video. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, at the front, from about here to here, is the main simulation material. In this case, it's simulation plastic, BC408, a uh, one inch by two inch piece of it, cylinder. And then at the front of it, at the business end, we see this shiny surface, which is aluminized mylar, or in this case, two sheets of it, covering a zinc sulfide scintillation material that is in contact with the scintillation plastic. Then at the back, from about here to here, is the photomultiplier tube. In this case, a Russian FEU35 photomultiplier. And then at the back, we see also the voltage divider network and some capacitors. So the first step was to tape white electrical tape around the BC408 plastic simulation material. After taping the simulation plastic, I mounted it to the photomultiplier tube with coupling compound and taped it to the photomultiplier tube. After that, I put a zinc sulfide screen in front of the simulation plastic on the business end of the simulation detector and covered that in two sheets of aluminized mylar, which is this shiny stuff you can see here. Then I soldered this voltage divider network to a few contacts I have on the photomultiplier pins. Uh, I did not solder directly to the photomultiplier pins as that could damage the photomultiplier. This is the schematic I used, and then I also had this BNC connector that I used to connect it to different rate meters. After that, I made this circle out of metal mesh and put it at the base of this part here, which is part of the detector enclosure. This lets radiation through, but hopefully serves as some protection so that the aluminized marlar does not get damaged. Okay, I've now hooked up the alpha, beta, gamma simulation detector to this uh, Ludlum Model 2 rate meter running at 900 volts. The gamma radiation from this americium 241 should be able to penetrate through the probe housing. However, the BC408 simulation plastic in this detector should not be able to pick up any gamma radiation under 100 kilo electron volts, which means that it should not be able to pick up the gamma radiation coming from this source. Let's turn it on. And let's put it over the source. Nothing really happens. Now, one type of radiation it can detect from this source is the alpha radiation coming from the americium 241 So let's hold it up to this window here and see what happens. It immediately pegs the meter. I would now put it on the highest scale. Let's see what happens. Next we have this beta source, which is a strontium-90, yttrium-90 source. Let's see what happens when we put it in front of the probe. Next I have this is a cesium-137 source. We'll use this as a source of gamma radiation. While this source is not as active as the other ones, something is clearly detected. And finally, as a source sending out a bunch of different types of radiation, I have a piece of uranium ore that I'll move closer to the detector. Okay, this has been a description of how I built this alpha, beta, gamma scintillation detector. Thanks for watching.